and we're back to learning Photoshop in here, day 163. Let me show the patch tool. It's yet another tool that we can use to remove and replace object. Let me copy this one, press Ctrl J, call it copy. We are on the copy layer. You'll find it right here in the same toolbox as the Healing Brush tool. J is the short key. Simply call it patch tool. And you can see here in the animation, you can simply select objects and then replace it with a different area of your image. Menu on top is pretty easy to understand. We have the four modes again. Just make sure new selection is active. And then we have source and destination. And that's an important distinction. Let me go to source first. I make a selection of my star here. It gives me the marching ants. Then I left click. And now I have to rasterize it first. Just confirm. If we left click and drag now, we can replace this. So this is the source mode. And you can simply see that as a replacement mode. It tries to blend it with the background so that it fits somewhat well. In this case, it fits actually pretty well. Let's check the other mode, the destination mode. And it's not really a remove mode, it's more like a copy mode. So I do it again, and then I left click drag. And you can see I can create copies and they are now blend with wherever I drag them. So the source mode gets rid of what you select and the destination mode adds what you've selected to wherever you drag it. In this example, we got good results. But let me show you an example where the results aren't that good. We'll get back to the image that I've used in the last tutorial with the remove tool. Oh, let's say we want to get rid of the guy here. So I switch to source mode, make my selection. I have to rasterize it and then left click drag to an area where there is no one, maybe like here. And release and it blends it quite well when it comes to the colors, but due to the tiles, it doesn't fit at all anymore. So when you have a clear geometry, Usually the patch tool isn't the best to use. I would recommend trying out the remove tool or using generate a fill directly. But this is how you can use the patch tool in Adobe Photoshop. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.